and this is key position number four and we'll see the same stalemate theme can occur here if black tries to win with this skewer it's just going to be a stalemate because all of these squares are controlled it's pretty much the same as key position number three except that black's king is on c4 instead of c2 so it's a little different but it's still a draw black only has one winning move here and that's rook to h2 this puts white in a stalemated position but black is also threatening checkmate and an important thing to note here is that if white's rook was able to access the g2 square then this position would be a draw because black's rook would have to leave the important second rank but white's only moves here are rook to c8 or rook to a8 and they pretty much lead to the same thing black going to hide his king on c2 and black can't try this from b3 because with the rook checking from the b file then white's going to be threatening rook to b2 check so black can't hide the king on c2 from b3 black has to come from d3 and once that happens this king controls b2 so now black is threatening rook h1 and this rook doesn't have any more checks since this king will capture on d2 and white's king will have the b2 square so white can now attack the rook from h8 since the king is now stalemating white's king by controlling b2 and the correct move is rook to d2, making way for knight to e2. So if rook to h2, then knight to e2, and now there's nothing that white can really do to stop checkmate here. Black has ideas like king to b3, threatening rook to d1, which would drive white's rook to the first rank, and then black also has knight c3 white tries to escape then black can check with two tempo in a row and then capture the rook without any stalemate occurring so and the same thing would occur if instead of rook to c8 or rook to a8 white can also play rook to b4 check but this is going to lose faster because it places the rook in line with the knight's control of e4. So in this variation, white is losing more quickly because in this position, the rook, black can exploit the knight's control of e4 after rook to d2 and then Rook h2, knight to e2 is the same thing we saw before, so rook to d4 is the only move, and then rook to e2, so white has no moves here, and black is just going to play rook to e1 next, and there's nothing that white can do about that. Black's winning very quickly in that variation, and the difference with rook to c8 or rook to a8 is that the rook is not... The rook's very powerful when it's not being influenced by the knight, so after the rook's attacked on the d file, all black can do is block with the knight. And now, now black has the idea of playing king to b3, which would threaten rook to d1 mate, and could also reach a second back block formation where white's down a tempo, and it could also reach a second side block formation where the knight can block on c3 and also cover b1 if white's rook comes to the first rank to try to defend mate. So there's no other way for white's rook to get a safe check in. So and black also has other ideas like rook to d4 
White's only move is rook to b8, preventing king to b3, and also threatening check. And this is key position number three. White doesn't really have anything else. If white tries king to a2, then this would just repeat position. So black first threatens checkmate. And white's only way to stop that is to block with the rook because if king to a3, then rook check. And now the knight has the idea of a discovered check here. And white doesn't have any other escape. So king to a2, black has checkmate. So white's only way to stop mate is to block with the rook, restrict a4 with the rook. And now this knight is able to control the a3 square with tempo. And now with the knight controlling a3, black doesn't have to worry about white's king escaping here. So a second side block formation occurs after black strengthens his rook. There's nothing that white can really do to stop ideas like this and then rook here, rook here, depending on where white's king moves. And that's pretty much it for key position number four. All right, quick review of key position number four. It's a draw if black tries to go for the skewer. White steps into a stalemated position, so black can't capture the rook. And rook a5 doesn't do anything because black has to worry about the safety of the king. So white has a check. Black's only winning move is rook to h2. And white's only moves are rook c8 or rook a8. Rook b4 check, then that runs into the problem with the knight controlling e4. So black hides the king on c2, has to do it from d3. Black makes way for the knight to block. White's only move is rook to b8, preventing king to b3, and also threatening check. And this is key position number three. So let's move on to key position number five. 